Only choice when it comes to your next project, swing and a foul. We'll do everything we can to defuse the wind. In terms of getting into our microphone, no balls and two strikes. Yeah, Fagan has been great this season. And the offering. And that's way outside. The Mustangs get, did get 12 hits off him last year. But Severance won that game here. In a close one. And the offering. Breaking ball swung on and grounded a second. And to his right off the chest. Throwing to first and in time. And making the play is... Let's see. Who's, who do we have at second here for Severance? Must have missed that one with the positioning. But there's one down. All right. One down. Here in the top of the first inning. And here is Braden Fajardo. Fajardo hitting 491. His average actually downs, but over 500 most of the season, just tearing up opposing pitching. And the ball is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. We know that Tyler Hansen's at first. Joe Tamburo at third. Nolan Hertzke's the shortstop. It's Bryson Ferris in left to center. Fielder is Cameron Christensen. Mason Brights and right, Brennan Taylor behind the plate, grounded to third, and Tamburo's got it. The throw to first is going to be late, and Brayden Fajardo, the flying Hawaiian, beats it out, an infield hit on the chopper to third, and that'll send up Frank Ortega. Yeah, this wind is at about, I'm guessing, mid-20s, 25, 26 miles an hour. Ortega hitting 351. He homered last year. And the 7-5 loss to Severance. Pichardo, the league leader in stolen bases. Short lead, the stretch. And the offering. Swung on and chopped foul up the third base side. No balls and one strike. Here from Carson Fagan. Hard to beat this kid. He was very good as a junior. And now as a senior... 67 strikeouts and only five walks and 49 in a third innings. Throw back to first and back in diving is Fajardo. This is his 11th appearance. No balls and one strike to Frank Ortega. You can hear that wind whipping and the offering. Swung on that is popped up and drifting back into shallow center field. The ball's going to be caught. That's the second baseman are trying to get that name here. And two down. Yeah, that was, uh, let's see. Yeah, caught by Caden Panis. Panis makes the catch. Two down. Here for the number four hitter, Jesse Campa. Well, the ball carried a little bit. Now, we know that the Mustangs are not a home run hitting team, but Severance can hit them out. That breaking ball is down and in. One ball and no strikes to Campa. This is for the league lead in the Longs Peak League. We'll set the standings here. Throw back the first, back in diving. The rest of the Mustang lineup has got... Charlie Langford batting fifth. The DH is Joseph Layden batting seventh is David Keller. Colin Farley hits eighth and Levi McCoy bats ninth. The stretch. And time is called. No pitch. No pitch. Yeah, this wind is just relentless. But it's more tolerable at 69 than it is at 49. Like we saw at Riverdale Ridge, like we've seen in many games this year. The stretch and the offering. And that is a ball low. The throw to second is up the shortstop side, and the tag is applied out. Fajardo is thrown out because that throw, even though it was up the shortstop side, was a bullet delivered by Brennan Taylor. And Braden Fajardo is caught stealing. And that is applied two to four. That's a rare caught stealing of Braden Fajardo. We head to the bottom of the first inning. No runs on one hit. No errors and the bases were left empty. The Mustangs do not score. And Severance is coming to bat on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Here's the starting lineup for the Silver Knights. Batting first is the center fielder Cameron Christensen. The pitcher Carson Fagan at second. 
Shortstop Nolan Hertzke bats third. The right fielder is the cleanup hitter, Mason Bright. Tyler Hansen, the first baseman, at fifth. Joe Tamburo at third at sixth. The left fielder, Bryson Ferris, at seventh. The DH hits eighth as Dylan Jost and Caden Panos, the second baseman, it's ninth. The Mustangs defensively have Jesse Camp at first. Charlie Langford is the second baseman. Over at third is Frank Ortega. The shortstop is Braden Fajardo in left field is David Keller. Levi McCoy in center. Briggs Wheatley in white. How about Briggs Wheatley in right, not Wheatley in white? The, behind the plate is Levi, uh, check that, Tyler Baker. There's a couple of C's written down here. And on the mound, owner of two shutouts this season is Colin Farley. He shut out the Bs. He shut out Brush and Berthard. It'll be a right-handed hitter, Cameron Christensen. Stepping in for Severance, the pitch. And that is on the outside corner for a strike. Hitting 426. Open stance. Farley looks into the pitch. Swung on and driven into deep left field. Keller's going back, still going back. He makes the catch. And with that wind, he only took a couple of steps, but he made sure that he didn't backpedal too much. One down on that line drive hit by Christensen. And that'll bring up Carson Fagan. A 371 hitter. And that's big getting out this hitter because Hertzke on deck has driven in 37. The stretch with the bases empty in the pitch is outside. One ball and no strikes. Colin Farley, the senior, delivers and he bounces it in. We saw a couple of warm up pitches. He did that. 3-2 and two with a 3.43 ERA. Antonio Velasquez is an emergency catcher today. Still not clear to play, at least to start. But Baker did a nice job on Tuesday, and that swung on and hit into deep right center field. And McCoy to his left going back, still going back. It's over his head, and it takes one bounce and over the fence for an automatic double for Carson Fagan. And we know that he's got to keep the ball down. Courtesy runner is Augustine Dominguez for Severance. Here is Hertzke. We mentioned the 37 RBIs for Hertzke. Another right-handed hitter. Yeah, the thing with Colin, the first two hitters have hit the ball pretty hard, and he's kept the ball up. He's got to find the bottom of the zone there. And with the ball flying out, it's not an advantage to the pitcher when the ball's up. It's not like the wind is going to take it down. Looking back at second, Dominguez with a lead. Farley looks back, and the pitch swung on and grounded for a base hit into the center field. Dominguez is going to round third. He's going to be sent to the plate, and the throw is going to be cut off. It's an RBI single for Hertzke as 38th run battered into the season. And in the bottom of the first inning, Severance leads Fort Morgan one to nothing. And another sharply hit ball. Here is Mason Bright. They've already matched the number of runs they scored on Tuesday. The pitch and the breaking ball is upstairs. Bright hitting 361. He's driven in 21. Hertzke off of first. The pitch swung on and fouled off to the right. Now to play. And the count levels at one and one. And we'll see if they try to steal on both Farley and Baker here. We know that Brennan Taylor can throw for severance. He just threw out Braden Fajardo, who's had. An incredibly high steal percentage this year. One ball, one strike, one out, one across, one on. The offering way outside off the glove of Baker. That'll be a pass ball. And the second will be Hertzke. Got him right in the glove there, but you got to look it in today. You have to look it in today. You cannot close that glove too early. And that clearly 
Should have been caught there by Baker. Two balls and one strike. Looking back. The pitch. Swung on and lifted a center field. McCoy is going back. Still going back. Still going back. And that one is over his head. He got a bad jump on that one. Runner's going to get to third. And into second with a double. Is going to be Mason Bright. He's got to go back a lot quicker than that. I'm not saying he could have made the play, but I'm saying he might have been able to make the play. There was a possibility there. He got off to a really poor jump. And here's Tyler Hansen. Yeah, first step back and keep going. Hansen hitting 373. There's a reason McCoy's in center field. He's a good one. But he's having trouble here judging the ball off the bat. The pitch. Swung on. That ball is driven deep into left field. Keller is going back towards the fence. And he's going to reach out. And the ball is off his glove. And the runner to home and the other runner to third. It'll be an error. A sacrifice fly with an error on the ball dropped by Keller. And it's now two to nothing. Oh, man, what a disaster here for Fort Morgan. It is an RBI. Scoring a run. But an error on Fort Morgan and David Keller. Runners at second and third, and Farley has been tagged in this game so far. Here's Tamburo. The pitch. Swag and a miss through the fastball right by him. No balls and one strike. Everything has been hit to the outfield. But it is an error on David Keller on a fly ball that hit him right in the glove. The pitch. Swung on and chopped the short. Fajardo's going to have to go to first. Now he'll go to third high throw, and the tag is applied. A run scores. That fielder's choice goes 6-5 to five as Ortega applies the tag on Hanson. Two down, and it's 3 to nothing Severance. With a runner at first. So here we go with the number six hitter, Bryson Ferris. The pitch. Swung on, hit slowly on the ground. Left side, Ortega charges at third. Throws to first, that's in time. And Ferris is retired. While in the inning, three runs for Severance. On three hits, there was one error and a man left. Well, the Mustangs have to get to work already pretty quickly as they trail Severance and ace Carson Fagan in Severance, three to nothing on B106. B106.com, we're on the TuneIn app as well and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. And the pitch to Jesse Camp is a breaking ball down and away. He was at the plate when Fajardo was gunned down at second. Three to nothing, Severance. They got three hits off of Colin Farley, and the Mustangs committed an error, and the fastball is a little bit low. Two balls and no strikes to Jesse Campa. Jeez, we're going to have umpires here already on one side of the fence. Here's the wind and pitch. Swag and a miss and a fastball. Belt high. And the count is level at two and one. Here to Jesse Campa. Wine in the pitch. That is right there for a strike on the outer half at the knees. Two balls and two strikes to Campa. Hitting 333, the offering. Breaking ball is fisted into shallow center field. That is going to drop for a base hit. And the Mustangs pick up their second hit. After Fajardo's infield hit in the first inning. Good pitch by Fagan, but Campa fisted it out there. And that will bring up Charlie Langford. Batting 323. The only sophomore in the starting lineup. Now, do you try and chip away? But in chipping away, you know that Severance is not going to be held to three runs in this game. They look pretty solid offensively. And the pitch. And that is a little bit low. One ball and no strikes. Silver Knights had a couple of doubles in that first inning. The stretch shortly, the pitch, and that is down and away. 2 0 as Fagan's hat goes flying up the first base side. Two and zero here to Charlie Langford. 
Throw back to first, back and diving is Campa. With an open stance is Langford. Fagan at the belt to the plate. That's a strike down the middle, thigh high. It's two balls and one strike. Again, only five walks in 50 and a third innings for Carson Fagan, so he's going to pound the strike zone. And when he misses, he doesn't miss by much. The stretch and the pitch, that's upstairs. Three balls and one strike. Severance with a three to nothing lead. Throw back to first, back in diving is Campa. We are in the top half of the second inning. Again, a conservative lead for Jesse. And the offering. Swing and a miss on a pitch belt high. It's three and two. Three balls and two strikes. The stretch, the offering. Swing and a miss and a fastball away. What a pitch there on the outside corner. And Charlie Langford could not catch up. One down. And here's the D.H. Joseph Layden, a 359 hitter. Driven in 19 on the season. Patriot League standings as that pitch is a strike with a fastball at the knees. Have Severance 11 and 5 and 14 and 7 overall. Fort Morgan and Riverdale Ridge 10 and 5 in league play. Mustangs at 14 and 6. Riverdale Ridge at 13 and 7. That's how critical this game is. No balls in one strike, nothing doing on the throw to first. Getting up slowly as Camp. I think that ball might have got a piece of him. Yeah, he's favoring his right side. And Fagan works quickly. Thing with Fagan, you've got to extend the pitch count to get him out of the game. The stretch and the offering. That's a fastball for a strike down the middle. Now last year they got to Fagan for 12 hits. They hit him really well. But Fort Morgan played sloppy defensively and lost the game. And the offering. Swing and a tapper up the first base side, but it trickles foul. Count stays at 0-2. I mean, case in point, 15 strikes and 8 balls so far for Carson Fagan. And probably 4 or 5 of those pitches that he's missed with have been extremely close. 0-2, oh 1 out, 1 on, top 2. The stretch and the pitch, and the breaking ball is outside. One ball and two strikes. This was the setup here. Fort Morgan was going to throw their ace on Tuesday. They did. They won 8-1. to one. And now you've got Severance's ace in this game. Layden awaits the pitch. Swung on. Fisted on the ground. Right side. And it's off the glove of the first baseman. And Layden is going to reach. Boy, that had some English to it out there. And Hansen could not come up with a baseball cleanly. Not sure how that's going to be scored. But that was not going to be an easy play. Well, we'll call it an error for now, but that's uh, that's not an easy play on that ground ball. But if he, if he comes up with it, there's no doubt that Layton's it out. So we'll call it an error. Here's David Keller. And the offering. Swing and a miss on been ball one. That pitch was up and in, but he went fishing for it. Keller out of the seven hole. The stretch. And the offering. And that is in the dirt, blocked nicely by Taylor. David Keller hitting 308, driven in 12 this year. 1-1 one, one pitch, swing and a miss. He's not going to hit anything swinging at pitches up in the zone that are out of the zone. 1-2, and two, he's got to discipline himself up there. Off of second is Campa, late in at first. And the one-two. And that ball hit him. It came in on him. And it got him somewhere on the left side. I'm not sure if it got him in the arm. But that kid's so tough. It's like he didn't feel anything. Wow. The bases are now loaded on the hit by pitch. Another rarity for Carson Fagan. And Colin Farley can help his own cause. Farley. With a 244 average. He's driven an eight. Big spot for him, the pitch, and that fastball is low. 
below the knees. One ball and no strikes. Camp at third. Layton at second. Keller at first. Wind in the offering. That is a strike. Down the middle. Knee high and it's one and one. They're going to have to call time time at some point he works so fast the pitch swung on and grounded right side headed for right field that's a base hit camp is going to score Layden's around third Layden headed towards the plate the throw's going to go through the slide he's in there and farney the second it's a two-run single and advancing to third was david keller and the mustangs have made this a one-run game it's three to two severance in the top of the second inning and he just grounded that baseball into right field And two more in scoring position for Levi McCoy. McCoy with a limited number of at-bats this year. Here's the wind and pitch. Swung on and popped up in the infield. That'll be caught by the third baseman, Tamburo, and two down. Got fisted on that pitch. If he swung a tad earlier, might have been able to send it to the outfield, but it got in on the fist. And that happens when you don't have a lot of plate appearances. But Levi had the right idea. Pitch to Wheatley. That is a strike right there at the knees. Wheatley grounded to second to lead off the game. And that pitch is swung on and driven foul off to the left. Wheatley down on the count and no balls and two strikes. Against Carson Fagan, the Mustangs are on the board. After they just got one hit in the first, the pitch swung on line towards center field, and that ball is going to be caught. Oh man, that ball was hit hard into center field on the 0 2 pitch. But the play was made, and the Mustangs are limited to two runs in the top of the second inning. Let's recap the inning quickly here for. Fort Morgan as the play was made by Cameron Christensen. For the Mustangs, they had two runs on two hits. There was one error and two men left. We'll keep it right here for now with the Mustangs trailing three to two. And Colin Farley will have to adjust the second time around after Severance really tagged him in the top of the first inning. But a credit Colin for coming back on the offensive end and doing what he did, sending a ground ball into right field for that base hit that made it a 3-2 to two game. Severance going into the bottom of the second inning. And it'll be Dylan Jost, Caden Panis, and Cameron Christensen. Let's see, Jost going in hitting 294. This is Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Jost from the right side, 8, 9, and 1. Here's the stretch with the bases empty. And the offering. And the breaking ball is outside. Right here on Morgan County's B106, B106.com and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 3 to 2 Severance, bottom of the second. And the pitch. And that skips to the screen. Two balls and no strikes. Yeah, got to get this first hitter out. You retired the first hitter of the first inning. Unfortunately, Severance then kept swinging away. Most Farley to the plate, swung on and fouled off. One with a fastball, it's two and one. Eight, nine and one once again for Severance in the bottom of the second inning. Both teams have committed a miscue defensively already. And this heavy wind, the offering, swung on and grounded left side. And for Fajar, long throw to first is going to be in time. An excellent play by Brayden Fajardo to his right. Six to three, there's one down. 
and those are the played in a critical and a ball hit sharply here's Caden Panis a 244 hitter out of the nine hole all righties in this lineup the Mustangs with that one lefty and Briggs Wheatley is Tyler Baker and the pitch swung on that ball has popped up foul territory right side Campa giving chase in front of the dugout and it drops right in front of the Mustang dugout could not get there and it's 0-1 nice hustle there also by Tyler Baker but it's one of those that was placed perfectly could not get over there no balls in one strike to the number nine hitter, the second baseman for the Silver Knights. Three to two, Severance in the bottom of the second inning. They had three hits in the opening frame. The stretch by Farley. And the pitch. And the breaking ball is a strike on the outside corner. No balls and two strikes. Beautiful sweeping curve. And the 0-2 from Farley. And that's in the dirt with a breaking ball. And two strikes. Farley is a contact pitcher. You play defense behind him, and he will have success. And a very smart pitcher as well. He's not going to give in. At the belt. And the pitch. And he bounces that to the screen. Kind of fell off to his left side there. It's 2-2. Two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Panis. Base is empty. Farley looking in. The offering. Swing and a miss and a slow breaking ball. It's a strike out of Panis. Two down in the bottom of the second inning. And here is Cameron Christensen who lined to left. One inning ago. Heck of a pitch thrown by Farley there. The stretch. And the offering. That's a curveball for a strike on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. To Cameron Christensen. Two strikes for every ball for Colin Farley. Wind is whipping the pitch. And the breaking ball off the glove of Baker. And the count levels at 1 and 1. The Mustangs will be. Home to Frederick, Saturday morning, 11 o'clock on B106. Then we'll check out. I've got to confirm the game for either Monday or Tuesday. It was Monday on the Fort Morgan schedule, Tuesday on Max Preps, the pitch. And he's short on that one. Two balls and one strike. Two down on the bases, empty in the bottom of the second inning. Baker lays down the sign. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded a third, and it's off the glove. He picks it up. Ortega fires to first, and that's going to be late. And again, you make errors, and that's what happened there. An error on Frank Ortega, even though he got the ball, but he dropped it initially. And that's a routine grounder. Second error by Fort Morgan. Man, that is a huge error. Well, we'll see if it's a huge error because Connor Fagan is up. He doubled in a run. Actually, he doubled to lead the rally. Then he, uh, his courtesy runner later scored. So watch out for McCoy in center. The stretch. And the pitch. And the breaking ball is high. One ball and no strikes. Got to make plays. Can't stress that enough. Especially on routine. There was nothing tricky about that. Frank didn't close his glove, then picked up the ball, and he took some time as well. He thought he had plenty of time like he was playing second base, and that fastball's down and in, and the throw is late. It's 2-0. and oh. Unless he was not sure that that ball was next to him. You know, that's maybe why. I think he was surprised the ball was so close to him and that he actually had a chance to make a play. Two balls and no strikes to Fagan. Runner at first, two down, three to two severance, bottom of the second. Throw back the first and a tag and late. Oh, man. And there's no doubt that Christensen was leaning. 
but the throw is a little bit high and up the first base side. A perfect throw, and he's done. 2-0 and here to Fagan. Big pitch coming up as the hitter's ahead in the count. The pitch, and that is a strike on the inner half. Two balls and one strike. Christensen might be taking off, but I'm not sure with this hitter up there. Farley to the plate. Swung on and grounded up the middle. Headed for center field. There's a dive by Langford. Base hit. Rounding second is Christensen. Headed for third. The throw should go to second and does. And runners at the corners here for the number three hitter. That's Nolan Hertzke. Dominguez is the courtesy runner. Hertzke singled to drive in a run in the second. Any run scored from here on out is an unearned run. Baker now with the first and third signals. I'd say let him take the bag. You can't allow a cheap run here. If you get the hitter, the base runners don't matter. Farley looks in. The stretch and the pitch and the breaking ball is a strike on the outside corner. That's a heck of a pitch. No balls in one strike. If you can keep it spotted there, then the opposing hitter has to go to right field. Farley at the belt. First and third, two down in the second. The offering and the breaking ball is down and away. And the count levels at one and one. He's got a good curveball working. And Baker just has to keep everything in front of him. Don't want to allow that cheap run. One ball, one strike, two down, two on. And the pitch, and that one is in the dirt. Baker blocks it, taking off for second anyway. It was Dominguez, so two in scoring position. And two balls and one strike. There's an open base, but Mason Bright is on deck, and he clubbed one his first time up. Awaiting the pitch is Hertzke. Here it is. Breaking ball is right there on the inner half. It's strike two. Two balls and two strikes to Nolan Hertzke. Can Colin Farley get out of this jam? The stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss on a bender. Baker's going to have to throw it at first and does to record the out. And Colin Farley bails out the Mustang defense in the inning. No runs on one hit. There was one error and two left in scoring position. Two complete. It's Severns 3, Fort Morgan 2 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. It'll be 2, 3, and 4 for the Mustangs. Braden Fajardo will lead off the inning. Severance leads in the third, 3-2 to two on their home field. Looking for a season split after Fort Morgan won on Tuesday at home 8-1. to one. And the breaking ball is a strike on the inner half. Fajardo singled and was caught stealing in the first inning. Four hits for Severance, three for the Mustangs. Breaking ball, swag and a miss on a pitch tailing away. 0 oh and 2. In the early going, Fagan has one strike out of Charlie Lang for the pitch, and that's in a dirt. And blocked by Brennan Taylor. Two balls make it one ball and two strikes. And a victory here would go a long way for really both teams. But Fort Morgan has Frederick to close out the season. and they play their game, they'll win both of those and have a 17-win season. The offering down and away with a breaking ball. Two balls and two strikes. Yeah, that third weekend in May will be busy. Regional baseball on the Saturday, graduation on the Sunday, 21st and 22nd respectively. The pitch, swung on and fouled off to the right. Fagan has thrown 41 pitches, so still plenty of ammunition left in that tank. Again, we mentioned the pitch count because if you can get to the bullpen, that would help. Fagan, 8-2 with a 199 ERA going in. 2-2 two two to Fajardo, followed by Ortega and Campa, the offering. 
And that is a, yeah, he went anyway, but I think it was a called strike. I don't think he went. Yeah, I don't think he went, but they caught a ball. Wow, I thought it was a strike anyway. Three and two. Yeah, I thought it was a strike on the breaking ball, to be honest with you. Even Fagan thought that. And again, I want to see Fort Morgan win this game, but that was clear. That was clear to me that that should have been strike three. And I think the Mustangs caught a huge break there on that breaking ball. Fajardo did not swing on the ruling by the first base umpire on the appeal. So it's three and two, and Severance fans don't like it, but I don't blame them. That looked like a strike. Three and two to Fajardo. Taylor lays down the sign and the pitch. Swung on and grinded off the pitcher's foot to the first, and it deflects right to Hanson. He steps on the bag. Wow. And now Fagan is on his backside as he took that ball off the foot. And let's see if he's okay. Hopefully Fagan's okay. That ball was hit extremely hard right off of Fagan. Deflected right to Hanson, the first baseman. So that goes one to three. Not the normal one to three, but it is an out. And there's one down as Frank Ortega will step in. Yeah, he took that somewhere. I think he's going to be okay. It just that initial impact really hurts. And I think once Fagan gets up and walks around, I think he'll stay in the game. But that ball hit him really in a rough spot considering how badly it ricocheted. Bank of Colorado is the only bank dedicated to help you make the most of living here, not just a bank in Colorado. They're Bank of Colorado, a proud supporter of local sports and academics. I, I think Fagan just needs some time and he'll be all right. I've actually had that same thing happen to me. Got me, and you need about two or three minutes, and then you walk it off, and you're right back in the game, and he should be all right. And Fagan gets a nice applause from the Severance and the Mustang crowd. Yeah. It'll tighten up a little bit, but he'll stay in this game. There's no way he's coming out of this one. No way. As critical as this game is for both teams. So one down for Frank Ortega who popped to the second baseman. They might allow him a couple of warm-up pitches, which they will. And, yeah, he looks fine. It's just the initial impact of having a ball hit off your foot or shin. And I, I know that injury. And, really, it did, you're fine after that. Maybe tomorrow it might tighten up a bit, but for now it's good. Here's Ortega, 0 for 1. The Mustangs with a 3-2 lead, one out top of the third inning. On a gorgeous day, I mean, the wind is the one factor, but 69 degrees at first pitch. And the offering, and the breaking ball is over but low. One ball and no strikes. Kick in the pitch. Swung on and chopped left side. Tough play at short. Long throw to first off balance. And it's going to be late. It's a base hit for Ortega. Hertzke did everything he could do. But he legs it out for a base hit. And Jesse Campa's one for one. The Mustangs have picked up their fourth hit of the game. Equaling Severance's total. Campa had a little flair on a two strike pitch into center. Two-run single by Colin Farley. Brought to you by Western Engineering Consultants. Get your project started the right way. Western Engineering Consultants popped up into shallow right field and shading the glove and the catch is made over there in right field. As back to first is Ortega. Mason Bright makes the play. With that bright sun, two down. Yeah, that was right in his eyes, but a nice job. And Charlie Langford, who struck out his first time up, is now the hitter. And even that ball carried a bit. It wasn't hit particularly deep, but kept going out there. Yeah, I think if you hit it towards right center, that's where you're going to get some carry. The pitch up and in with a fastball. And that's exactly what Fagan wants. He wants quick outs. I mean, so does every pitcher, but especially Fagan. One ball and no strikes. 
Although Fagan has one strike out, the breaking ball is right there for a strike. Count is level at one and one to Charlie Langford. Two out, one on. Top three. Fort Morgan trails Severance three to two. Short lead for Ortega. The pitch outside with a fastball. Two balls and one strike. Again, two more games remaining after today on Saturday, 11 a.m. at home against Frederick. And then we'll confirm the game for next week. Got two different times and dates. Breaking ball is a strike. Throw to second up the shortstop side of the slide. Ortega should be in there. Did he overslide? He did. I think Ortega overslid the bag and was tagged out. That's a heck of a play over there. Ortega would have had the stolen base, but he overslid. And the tag was applied. No runs on one hit. No errors and nobody left. Two and a half complete. With the score, Severance 3, Fort Morgan 2 on B106. And the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the bottom of the third inning. Severance leads Fort Morgan 3-2. It'll be 4-5-6 and six for the Silver Knights. Mason Bright, Tyler Hansen, and Joe Tamburo against right-hander Colin Farley, who worked out of a tremendous jam by no fault of his own. He retired the first two hitters, and an error was committed, then a base hit, and two runners were in scoring position before he struck out Nolan Hersky. Farley... Did have two strikeouts in that inning. Here's Bright, who doubled and scored. The pitch, breaking ball, is outside. One ball and no strikes. The only pitcher not available today is Frank Ortega, but Bodie Wheatley, Jesse Campa, if Farley struggles, the offering. Swung on line, base hit into left field, and a fastball in on the hands. And that's the fifth hit of the game for Severance and the second for Mason Bright. Here's Tyler Hansen who had a sack fly. Well, actually the ball was dropped. That was the air by Keller. But scored a sack fly, which is why he's zero for zero. Because it would have scored the base runner anyway. Farley stretches. Farley pitches. Breaking ball is outside. One ball and no strikes. Oh, check that. That's a, that's not Hanson. Hold on. That's a different hitter. I think that's why I'm getting the look. That's Austin Neely. That is Austin Neely in there. And the in pitch. And that is off the glove of Baker. That'll be another pass ball on the breaking ball. It's 2-0. Right, so Austin Neely up there, two balls and no strikes. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. And that rides inside. 3-0 to Neely. Joe Tamburo waits to hit next. Farley in some trouble, and that pitch is low. It's a walk. First walk issued by Farley, first and second. And are they going to play small ball with Tamburo up here? Tamburo, he drove in a run with a 6 5 fielder's choice in that three run first inning. Runners at first and second for Severance. Tyler Baker lays down the sign. Tamburo waits the pitch, and here it is. And the breaking ball is right there for a strike down the middle. It is 0-1. These two teams are at the top of the Longs Peak League. Severance is the slight lead over Fort Morgan and Riverdale Ridge. Farley looks back at second. Mason Bright is the lead runner. And the pitch, and that breaking ball is outside. Count levels at 1-1. One and one. Three runs on five hits for Severance. Two runs on four hits for Fort Morgan. The Mustangs have committed two errors and Severance with one error. One ball and one strike. Nobody out bottom three. The Silver Knights are threatening. The third baseman awaits. Swung on and fouled straight back. 
challenged him with a fastball up at the zone. It's one and two. Here to Tamburo, the number six hitter in this Severance lineup. The runners take their leads. One and two to Tamburo, the offering. Swung on and fouled on the slow breaking ball off to the right. Stayed alive in the count. Remains at one and two. To the third baseman for the Silver Knights. The wind not letting up at all. We try to block it as much as possible so it doesn't compromise the broadcast. Farley at the belt. Farley to the plate. In the dirt. Nice block on that breaky ball by Baker. That's a heck of a block. Athletic play by Baker. If not, we're looking at second and third with nobody out instead. First and second still. Two balls and two strikes. A big pitch coming up here for Colin Farley. The stretch and the offering. Swung on and fouled off the end of the batter. Oh, did he miss it? Yeah, I guess he missed it. Now the runner's going to break for the plate, and Baker's going to apply the tag, and he's out. It was a swing and a miss. First base was occupied, and then Bright broke for the plate all the way from second, and Baker got to the ball, which went off his glove, and he tagged him out. That'll be a double play in the most unusual way. And the trail runner to third. I thought he had fouled it off, but it was a swing and a miss. And for some reason, Baker just did not squeeze it, but, but he was bailed out by the fact that first base was occupied and the ball was several feet behind him. But Farley did not cover the plate. Baker just ran to the plate and tagged out Bright. Two down, the pitch. Swung on, lined on one hop to Fajardo at short. He throws to first for the out. That is a crazy ending to the bottom of the third inning. First and second, and nobody out. Tamburo strikes out. Mason Bright is tacked out at the plate by Baker. And then Bryson Ferris grounds to short to end the inning. Man, that is a strange way to end the bottom of the third inning. No runs on one hit. And a man left at third base. Let's head to the fourth inning. It's Severance 3. And Fort Morgan, too, you're listening to Mustang Baseball on your home of the 3A state football champions, Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the top of the fourth inning. Charlie Langford takes a breaking ball down and in. One ball and no strikes. Severance with a 3-2 lead. The Mustangs scored their two runs in a second on a two-run single by Colin Farley. Five, six, and seven. The offering. Fastball is a strike. Right at the knees from Carson Fagan. He's got a strikeout today. He's thrown 52 pitches through three plus. Wine in the offering. Breaking ball is low. Two balls and one strike. Again, the Mustangs hit him very well a year ago with those 12 base hits. The pitch. Squaring to bunt and he missed it. He bunted right through it. And it's two and two, and Lankford's the strikeout victim his first time up, so he wants to turn this thing around. Two and two here. Fagan to the plate. That is a called strike three. That was a perfect pitch. Yeah, a little bit up in the zone, but Charlie didn't like it. And there's one down. One down here for Joseph Layden aboard on an error. Yeah, I thought it was there. Maybe not perfect, but I thought it was <laughs> close to it. Coach Langford thought it was high, but that's been called a strike in this game. The pitch and the breaking ball is a strike at the knees to Joseph Layden. 0 for 1 officially. Fagan with a second strikeout, both of the same hitter. The offering right down the middle of the fastball. Belt high, it's 0-2. Not going to get a better pitch than that. No balls and two strikes. And the pitch, swing and a miss and a curveball. He made mincemeat there of the Mustang hitter. Layden strikes out on three pitches, two down. Fort Morgan's going to have to call time in there. Somebody's got to slow down his rhythm. I mean, Fagan's in a rhythm, and if you don't take him off that rhythm, he's just going to keep throwing. Pitch to Keller. Breaking ball on the inside corner for a strike. Keller was hit by a pitch. And I apologize, this wind is really, it's relentless. 
I've got my hand trying to deflect all this wind, and it's <laughs> not easy. No balls in one strike. The pitch. And a breaking ball is right there. Keller was fooled on that one. It's 0-2. No balls and two strikes to the Mustang left fielder. The offering. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball in the dirt. Taylor will pick it up and throw to first, and the ball is scooped out over there. Scooped out by the first baseman, who now, let me see, that first baseman doesn't look like the same. Well, they've switched Mason Bright over there, that's why. On three pitches, two Mustangs strike out. And Fagan strikes out the side in order. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's Severns 3, Fort Morgan 2 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Well, it seemed Colin Farley was just on the mound a few minutes ago. That's because he was. Carson Fagan had one strikeout through three, then struck out the Mustangs in order in the fourth inning. As we head to the bottom of the fourth, Severance holds the lead, 3-2. to two. It'll be Dylan Jost to lead off. He grounded to short his first time up. Colin Farley to the plate. And the breaking ball is down and away on pitch number 50 for the right-hander. Yeah, we know the wind has stayed consistent in excess of 25 miles an hour. The stretch and the offering. Fastball is a little bit below the knees. It's 2-0. and oh. The temperature has dropped to 67. Farley has one walk. It was in the third inning. Two balls and no strikes. At the belt. To the plate. That is up a strike. There you go. A late call there. Upper part of the strike zone. It's 2-1. and one. To Dylan Jost. Farley gets a sign. And Colin to the plate again. The breaking ball down and away. Missed that one badly. Three and one. And we know what happens when a leadoff hitter walks. About 70% of the time they usually score. Well, usually in 70% are saying the same thing. 3-1. And that fastball rides inside. It's a walk. Well, Severn scored three in the first, have not scored since then. Do they play small ball? Caden Panna struck out in his first plate appearance. Frank Ortega is playing on the edge of the grass, so he's still pretty far back. Let's see what they decide to do. Short lead at first. Yeah, they might go small ball. It wouldn't be a bad idea. The pitch. Swung on and grounded right side. Langford to his left. Off his glove and then he kicks it off his right foot. Oh man, a routine play to his left. The Mustangs commit another error. That's their third. First and second, nobody out. And here is Cameron Christensen who lined out and reached on an error by Ortega. Boy, this mirrors what happened a year ago when Fort Morgan played pretty bad defensively and lost the game. The offering, breaking ball is a little bit low. One ball and no strikes. And now you're in real trouble because the eight and nine hitters have reached for severance. The hitters are just getting better right now. The stretch by Farley and the 1-0. And the breaking ball is a strike on the outside corner. I think Baker might have been crossed up. Nice job adjusting, but he's going to race out to the mound. One ball and one strike to Christensen. Need a hard hit. The odds of holding this team down get slimmer and slimmer. One ball, one strike. Three to two severance. Bottom of the fourth inning. Farley to the plate. Breaking ball is outside. Ball two, strike one. Here to Cameron Christensen. Just off of second. And the pitch. 
And that is off the plate and a breaking ball. Three and one. Oh, man. You've got to give in right now. You've got to throw something hittable. You can't load the bases here with two walks. And the air by Langford, three and one. The pitch, very high. It's a walk. And the bases are loaded for Carson Fagan. And how is Fort Morgan going to get out of this one with three very dangerous hitters coming up? Very dangerous hitters. From refrigerators to vacuums and everything in between, they have exactly what you need in service at two. B&B Appliance and Repair. The Mustangs are at double play depth. They'll sacrifice a run for a two. And if he hits it into right center, he can run for a while. Baker lays down the sign. The bases are loaded. Nobody out of the fourth in the pitch. Breaking ball way outside. What a play by Baker. He had to snag that thing well off to his right. And right now, Farley ball, which he did over the first three innings, especially the second and third. I think he's confident in that breaking ball, but if he can't throw for a strike, then you've got to hope that a fastball gets in on the hands. 1-0 here to Carson Fagan, the opposing pitcher of the stretch. The pitch, breaking ball, a strike. Yeah, he's not going to give in. He wants to establish the breaking ball. And he's spotting that on the outside corner. One and one here to Carson Fagan. Jost, Panis, and Christensen on the bases. The pitch. Curveball is laced into left center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. That is going to score two. Panis rounds third. And now into second sliding. Fagan, he's in there. That's going to be a double. It's going to be a two-run double. And to third is Christensen. Severance leads 5-2 to two in the bottom of the fourth inning. And the breaking ball hung over the middle of the plate. And Fagan now has three hits in the game. Nolan Hertzke has singled and struck out. The Mustangs might have to play the infield in. Down five to two. Farley at the belt, the pitch. Breaking ball is outside. One ball and no strikes in. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you walk a couple of hitters and then the error sandwiched in between. Six hits for Severance, three by the same hitter. The stretch and the pitch. Breaky ball swing and a miss tailing away. It's one and one. Straight up at five o'clock Mountain Time. This is Morgan County's B106 KPRB. Brush Fort Morgan. I'm John Beltran, live from Severance. Fort Morgan down three to nothing at one point. Now it's five to two. Swung on and grounded left side. Ortega's gonna have to go to for now. He runs back towards second and he throws it to second and the tag is applied by Lankford as the base runner goes down. Hard tag there applied by Lankford as Dominguez is out. A run does score and it's now six to two. Yeah, I think Charlie applied a tag that Severance thought was a little bit too hard. I didn't think he meant to tag him with a glove and then get him to the ground. Anyway, that's going to go 5-4 to four on the fielder's choice. An RBI for Hertzke as Christensen scores. One out. And it's a 6-2 to two lead. There for Severance. And that'll bring up Mason Bright, who's doubled and singled. So three across in the first, three across now in the fourth. Yeah, I think Charlie just wanted to apply a firm tag, and it ended up looking like a hard tag, the pitch. And the breaking ball is a little bit down and away. Yeah, the two and four hitters have five hits combined. One ball and no strikes. The Mustangs were 12th in the RPI coming in, Severance 15th. That'll change a bit if Severance holds on with a four-run advantage and nine outs to go. Farley at the belt, the pitch, and he bounces it in, blocked by Baker, picks it up, runner to second on the wild pitch. Oh, 
now you have a base open. With Austin Neely on deck, you wonder if you just walk bright here. He's hit the ball very well two times. 2-0 to Bright. To the plate. That breaking ball's a strike on the outside corner at the knees. Two balls and one strike. The Mustangs held Severance to one run and an 8-1 to one victory on Tuesday, but that was on their home field. Now on the road, it's a different story. Trailing 6-2. to two. The stretch and the pitch in the dirt. Nice block over there by Tyler Baker. Three balls and one strike. Man, this wind is blowing so hard, I'm starting to cry out of my left eye. Can't keep the tear ducts in there. Three and one. I think that's what they're called. I don't know the pitch. Ooh, up and in. Oh, man, a walk. What a job by Bright getting out of the way. And here comes Josh Langford. Let's see if we have a pitching change. I'd like to see a wind change. Like, slow this thing down. A conversation will take place on the hill. With a 6-2 to two severance lead. Two on, three across, and one out at the bottom of the fourth inning. Remember, they have a game two days from now. More than likely, Bodie Wheatley would pitch that game. And then Frank Ortega for the finale, but I'm just guessing at this point. I don't know that for sure. Mustangs have hurt themselves, though, with three errors, including one in this inning. Yeah, for those who have not been here, there's you broadcast from ground level. There's no press box or anything. And there's nothing really other than my left hand to block anything from the microphone. The wind is just the wind. Here's Austin Neely in the pitch and the breaking ball. It's a strike on the outside corner at the knees. Walked in his last plate appearance. No balls in one strike. Farley is 72 pitches deep. At the belt. Farley looks in. The pitch. Fastball rides inside. Let's see. Colin Farley in the game. Four walks now and three strikeouts. Those walks have really hurt him as well. One ball, one strike, one out. Three across and two on. Bottom of the fourth, six to two severance. The stretch and the pitch. Fastball is inside again. Two and one. Coach Langford wanting him to extend to the plate. Extend a little bit more. Find that strike zone. He's lost the strike zone in this inning. He was in command much earlier. Throw back to first and the tag. Oh, that first base. On the pickoff, as Kappa applies the tag, and Mason Bright is out number two. So two down. That could make things easier here. With two balls and one strike to Neely. Farley delivers. Breaking ball is down the middle for a strike, belt high. Two balls and two strikes. The Mustangs have done that multiple times this season. They back pick the trail runner. It's a beautiful play. One executed and they did it perfectly there. Two and two to Neely. Farley to the plate. Curveball is grounded a third and it takes a tough hop off Ortega's chest. Yeah, I got to call that a base hit. That might be scored in error on the bench, but that took a terrible hop. I'm going to score that a hit. That was a rough hop. You cannot expect somebody to feel that reasonably. And that extends the inning. Holding up at second was Hertzke. Here's Tamburo. Tamburo's 0 for 2. Fielder's choice in a strikeout. Farley looks back at second. Huge lead over there. The pitch. Fastball is inside. One ball and no strikes. 
Yeah, Frank is tough because that took a vicious hop. I mean, if you score that in air, that's the toughest air to score. That's even at the major league level. 1-0 to Tamburo. Farley delivers. And that is inside. Took something off at 2-0. You don't want this game to get away too much. 6-2 to two is about all you can handle right now. On deck is Bryson Ferris. Baker lays down the sign. Two balls, no strikes. Bottom for the pitch. Very high off the glove of Baker to the screen. Runners are now at second and third. Could have been scored either way. That thing was just elevating. Caught a wild pitch. It's three balls and no strikes. If it's six to two, even against Fagan, you've had some decent at bats, you figure, well, you can chip away, but not eight to two or nine to two. That's gonna be a long shot. Tamburo's ahead in the count at three and oh. The offering, and that ball hit him. And the bases are loaded on the hit by pitch of Tamburo. And Bryson Ferris has grounded a third and grounded a short. And Colin Farley is gonna be taken off the hill. As the wind picks up even more, we'll take a one-minute break. Bodie Wheatley will be the new pitcher with the bases loaded in the bottom of the fourth inning. It's 7-6, Fort Morgan 2 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Bryson Ferris at 0-2. for 2. Steps in with the bases loaded in the bottom of the fourth inning against Bodie Wheatley. The pitch swung on and lifted into center field and coming into his right. Now, is that ball going to be caught? That ball's going to drop in front of McCoy. Two runs are going to score. I mean, nobody took control. It's going to be a pop fly double into shallow left center. Keller converged and Fajardo went out. It's eight to two. Holy Mahungas, the Mustangs just breaking down in the outfield. Nobody took control of that baseball. And Severance has got a six-run lead. Oh, man. Wow, that's a good pitch thrown by Wheatley. And it, it was a lazy fly. Swung on. That is lifted in the infield. Langford is out into shallow right center. That ball's carrying. Let's see if somebody takes charge. McCoy. And that ball drops in. And two more runs are going to score into shallow right center field. Waitley didn't call off Langford. And then McCoy ranged to his left. It's 10-2, and the Mustangs have fallen apart. That one will just be a base hit. Well, so will the other one, but both could have been caught. Off the bat of Dylan Jost, I'm not sure what the Mustangs are doing. Just like that, Waitley throws two quality pitches, and that is a ball, and it should have been 6-2, to two, but no play to made out there. The outfield for Fort Morgan today has really struggled. One ball and no strikes. Panis is 0 for 2. Swung on. That is lifted to center. Now McCoy to his left. Let's see if he can make the play. And he makes the one-handed catch. And finally, wow. That was a disaster for the Mustangs. And Severance has blown this game wide open with some misplays in the outfield. Seven runs on four hits. There was one error, but that was just one physical error and probably a couple of others, undoubtedly. And one left. We head to the fifth inning. The Silver Knights are in control. They lead Fort Morgan 10-2 on B106. B106.com and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. While this game had some promise going into the bottom of the fourth inning, the Mustangs were down 3-2. Then Bodie Wheelie came in. It was 6-2. With the bases loaded, a fly ball just dropped into left center for a double, scoring two runs, swung on grounded by Wheatley foul. That's Bodie Wheatley. He'll be followed by Levi McCoy and Briggs Wheatley. And then another fly ball into shallow right center field that looked like a play could have been made, and that wasn't made. And it's a 10-2 game, and with the ace on the hill for Severance, Mustangs might not have much of a chance here. Base hit by Wheatley. Bodie Wheatley on a breaking ball. Sends it into left field. Fifth hit for the Mustangs.
And here's Levi McCoy, who popped a third his first time. I'm turning every which way to avoid the wind. I think it's coming from four directions. Fastball is a strike at the knees. Yeah, I'm trying to have it pound my back at 66 degrees. Short lead for Wheatley at first, stretch by Fagan. And now he steps off. Yeah, with an eight-run lead, this would take a miracle against a pitcher with a 1-9-90 ERA going in. The offering, breaking ball is fouled off to the right. No balls at two strikes. Here to lead by McCoy. The stretch and the pitch. Fastball is off the glove of Taylor to the screen. A wild pitch and the runner to second. And again, not easy to play outfield today, but what happens is that by the third or fourth inning, you have to adjust. You have to adjust. If not, it affects to the entire game. And that's what's happened, unfortunately. The pitch, breaking ball in the dirt. Two balls and two strikes. Good job of McCoy laying off. Severn scored seven runs in the bottom of the fourth inning. Fort Morgan trying to fight their way just to within four or five runs if they can score a couple. Fastball is below the knees. Three balls and two strikes to Levi McCoy. Runner at second. Nobody out top of the fifth inning. Looking back at second is Fagan. The pitch. Swung on and fouled straight back. Nice job, McCoy staying alive. It remains at 3-2 and two to Levi McCoy. Fagan did strike out the side in the fourth inning. Easily his best inning. And you've got some big sticks coming up in Wheatley and Fajardo, but you've got to chip away now. Off of second is Bodie Wheatley. 3-2 pitch. And that is just below the knees. It's a walk. So McCoy is on. Fagan thought he might have had strike three. It was a close pitch, but he did miss. And Fagan, keep in mind, has walked only six batters all season. Been a very effective control pitcher. Wheatley is 0-2. The pitch outside with a fastball. One ball and no strikes. Ten runs on nine hits for Severance. Two runs on five hits for the Mustangs. The Silver Knights with one error. Fort Morgan with three. The offering. Swung on line towards right center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Wheatley held up at second. Let's see if they'll keep him right there. You can't run through the stop sign. And watch out. McCoy almost did. McCoy almost did at second. He's got to be up. He even points to himself. You've got to be careful. You're down by a bunch here. Bases are loaded. Had they thrown back the second, there might have been a play, but the bases are loaded for Fajardo. Yeah, you don't want to be you don't want to be overly aggressive down by eight runs. Fajardo has singled and grounded to the mound. Actually, it was a line drive that hit off the foot of Fagan and deflected the first. Fagan has thrown 72 pitches. And that's why those four runs that scored in the bottom of the fourth inning are huge. If this is a 6-2 to two game and you put together this rally, then you feel pretty excited if you're Fort Morgan, but down by eight. They can't uh, generate too many outs in this inning. So here is Fajardo, a base hit. A walk and another base hit to load the bases with nobody out. Fajardo is one for two. And Fagan will operate out of the windup. The pitch. Breaking ball is a strike on the inner half at the knees. No balls and one strike to the Mustang shortstop. Fill up your cooler, gas up your car. Stubbs, gas and oil, easy and convenient. Stubbs, gas and oil. The pitch is swung on and tapped foul to the screen. 0-2 oh, to Braden Fajardo.
Fagan has thrown 53 and a third innings this year, only six walks allowed. And he's got 72 strikeouts, an incredibly good ratio. The pitch, fastball is called strike three on the outside corner. Oh man, Langford didn't like that at third. Fajardo is rung up on an 0-2 fastball. There's one down. One down for Ortega, who popped the second and had an infield hit. Yeah, might have been off the plate, but you can't take a pitch that close. You cannot allow a pitch that close to go by you. The pitch, fastball is a strike. Oh, and one to Ortega. Fagan to the plate. Breaking ball is down and away. Backhanded there by Taylor. Count is at one and one. We're in the top of the fifth inning. Severance leads Fort Morgan 10 to two. The offering. Curveball swing and a miss. One ball and two. To Frank Ortega, he homered a year ago on this field. Laying down the sign is Taylor and the offering upstairs. One with a breaking ball that stayed upstairs and it's two and two. Well, this is make it or break it here for Fort Morgan. They can score three runs, three or four. They could make things interesting going into the final two and a half innings. But they need something right now. On the 2-2 and the breaking ball's outside. It's a full count to Frank Ortega. Ortega digs in. And Carson Fagan to the plate. That is a called strike three, a fastball right down the middle. No doubt about that pitch. Two down. No doubt about that one. And Carson Fagan now has struck out six in the game. Jesse Campa singled and popped out. He might get out of this unscathed. So Campa at one for two. And the offering swung on and lifted into shallow left center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. One run is going to score. Runner around third of the plate and scoring easily is Levi McCoy. A two-run single for Campa, his second hit of the game. And it's Severance 10, Fort Morgan 4. Well, they got something out of it. Placed it in the perfect spot. And a second is Briggs Wheatley. Here's Charlie Langford. And one strike. Fagan working quickly. The pitch swung on and tapped slowly to short. Charging, gloving, throwing in time as the play is made to retire. Langford, an outstanding play there by Hertzke. And the Mustangs are done in the top of the fifth inning. Fort Morgan in the frame. Scores two runs on three hits. No errors and two left. Let's head to the bottom of the fifth. It's Severance 10, Fort Morgan 4 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back in Severance. 10-4, to four, the Silver Knights lead the Fort Morgan Mustangs. It'll be the 1, 2, and 3 hitters, bottom of the fifth inning. Cameron Christensen, Carson Fagan, and Nolan Hertzke. And this part of the lineup has torn up Mustang pitching. Christensen is 0 for 2. However, he's lined out aboard on an air and walked. Hit the ball very hard his first time. Pitch from Bodie Wheatley. Swung on. That ball is driven to center field and coming on is McCoy. He'll play it. On one hop, it's a base hit. And Severance has their 10th hit of the game. Carson Fagan has destroyed the baseball three times. A double, a single, and another double. Three for three. For the Severance right-hander. Whaley stretches. The pitch. And that is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Here to Carson Fagan. 
looking in the offering. And that bender is behind the hitter. Nice play by Titer Baker. Made an athletic play just to come down with that baseball. 2-0 to Fagan. 10-4 in the bottom of the fifth inning. Waitley throws to first and back in diving is Christensen. Your friendly local community bank serving Wiggins and all surrounding areas, High Plains Bank. You can find out more at High, highplainsbank.com. 2 0. Oh. Look. And diving once again is Christensen. This was a 3 0 game after one. Colin Farley had a two run single in the second. Making it three to two, that's seven runs, and most of those with two outs. Swing and a foul. Two balls and one strike. Yeah, if Severance has another big inning, we will not go to the sixth. Mustangs want to avoid that. They want to avoid being done in five, that is. The offering swung on and popped up. On the right side, Charlie Lank for the second baseman is out in shallow right field, makes the catch. Back to first is Christensen, one out. Well, that time it was, I wouldn't say hit in no man's land, but it was pretty close. Wheatley was charging in and his cap fell off from right field. One down. For Nolan Hertzke, singled in a run, swung on and fouled off to the right. He also struck out and grounded into a fielder's choice, a 5-4 fielder's choice. He's one for three. No balls and one strike. Laying down the side is Baker, throw to first, and again Christensen back in. Rockies are off today. They'll face the Kansas City Royals coming up tomorrow night in Coors. That'll be on our sister station, 10-10 KSIR, the offering. Swung on and pop foul out of play off to the right. And if you parked close, that could be an issue, but no. Takes one big hop, and there, into the parking lot. And so, no balls and two strikes. Mason Bright is on deck. Christensen with a two-step lead. They haven't stolen a base yet, the offering. Swung on and driven foul down the right side and out of play. Remains at no balls and two strikes. One out. A man at first at the bottom of the fifth inning. Severance 10, Fort Morgan 4. A freshman, Bodie Wheatley. Against Nolan Hertzke, the pitch. Swung on and driven in the air. Deep to right field. Wheatley is way back, and that is gone. A two-run homer opposite field for Nolan Hertzke. The wind really blowing that baseball, and Hertzke got a good piece of it. And Severance gets the two runs back on the two-run blast. It's 12-4 in the bottom of the fifth inning. And Nolan Hertzke has 40 RBIs in the season, three in this game. A lot of power there. And here's Mason Bright. He's been aboard three times with a double, a single, and a walk. As they await a new baseball, that was just, yeah, that wind. And there was no way that was going to stay in the park. In fact, Briggs Wheatley just gave it a look. He knew there was no chance to make the play. So it's an eight-run lead again for Severance. The pitch, breaking ball. Strikes, two more runs in this inning. And we will not go to a six. The Mustangs trying to keep it at 12 to four. That's fouled off and out of play off to the right. Count is at one ball and one strike. Yeah, the Mustangs will fall back a little bit in the standings here in the Longs Peak League. One and one, the pitch. Swung on line, base hit for Mason Bright. And the Silver Knights now have 12 hits in the game. 
Here's Austin Neely. Walked and singled in his previous two plate appearances. Well, hard to beat this team twice in a season. And doesn't look like it's not going to happen today. The pitch swung on and lifted into the right center field. Gap McCoy to his left. Dives and it's off his glove. And the ball continues to roll. Around third, and they're going to send the run to the plate. Yes, they will. That's going to score a run. It's going to be an RBI triple for Austin Neely. Scoring is bright. It's 13 to 4 Severance. Man, McCoy made an incredible dive out there. He nearly made an incredible catch. An amazing dive out there by McCoy, but there's not much you can do. And McCoy is still on his knees. He laid out completely for that baseball. And it got a piece of the, I think it got a piece of the glove from my vantage point. Well, Fort Morgan's got to play the infield in because if that run score, it's a five to four. Joe Tamburo is 0 for 2, hit by a pitch his last time. The wind and pitch swung on and lifted down the right field line. If it's fair, that's going to end the game, and the ball is fair just inside the line. That'll be scored a single, and the game is over. That has just scored a single for Tamburo because it scored the run, and he ends the game, and Severance wins 14 to 4 as Austin Neely crosses home plate. And that is it. Well, let's get to our Mustang post game show. It's brought to you by Morgan Community College in Fort Morgan. To help traditional and non traditional students, check them out at morgancc.edu. Severance defeats Fort Morgan in five innings, 14 to 4. 14 runs on 14 hits, one air, six left on base for Severance. For the Mustangs, four runs, seven hits, three airs, four left on base. The winning pitcher was Carson Fagan. The loss went to Colin Farley. Time of the game, one hour and 37 minutes. And Severance got on the board with three runs in the bottom of the first inning as they took the one to nothing lead on the RBI single from Hertzke. And then a sack fly with an air by Tyler Hansen made it two to nothing. Tamburo with an RBI made it three to nothing. Mustangs came back with two runs in a second on Colin Farley's two run single. It stayed at three to two. And then the inning that changed the game was in the bottom of the fourth when Severin scored seven runs as they got a, a two run double from Carson Fagan. Nolan Hertzke reached in a fielder's choice, making it 6-2. to two, And then two really pop fly doubles with two outs. One by Bryson Ferris, the other from Dylan Jost. Mustangs would get a two-run single from Camp on the top of the fifth inning, but four runs in the bottom of the fifth inning, including a two-run homer from Nolan Hertzke. And they defeat Fort Morgan by this 14-4 five-inning score. So they split the season series. And now looking at the Longs Peak League, Severn still aboard the number one spot, 12 and 5 in league play, 15 and 7 overall. The Mustangs at 10 and 6 in league play and 14 and 7 on the season. Fort Morgan has two regular season game, games remaining. Our next game will be on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock in Fort Morgan against the Frederick Warriors. We'll have it right here on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. A tough afternoon on a windy afternoon in Severance as the Silver Knights come away with the victory. I'm John Beltran with a final score once again. In five innings, Severance 14, Fort Morgan 4 on B106. We're on the TuneIn app and on B106.com and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.